flashback. Because that's my day. That, that's been my day, man. There's like no amount of coffee or um, medication. My focus today is just about this long. It's about, it's about this long. End of flashback. Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. So... I just thought I'd turn on the camera while I made a little thing for myself, actually. And I thought, well, maybe somebody else would, you know, want to make the same thing. Um, after I watched um, Hallie's video the other day about, um, you know, making your own little notebook, your little, you know, the glue painted on the spine, I'll put that link down below. Um, for planners, I thought I could make myself like a little post-it note book for my bag, right? So let's hope I have everything I need right here and I don't have to run off to some other part of, you know, the world here to get something that I have to have to finish this project. I hope everybody is having a good week. What is today? Today is Wednesday. Sorry, it's been so long. Sheesh. It's been, what, since last Thursday or Friday? Oh, all I did was I had some um, scrap paper that was cut offs from something else. And so I just trimmed them all to, these are about three by five, so about the size of an index card. You could probably even use index cards if you didn't have scrap paper laying around. And I just kind of um, tapped them all together so that they had a nice flush edge. And then I put some binder clips so that I could, um, paint some glue down here. What was I saying? <laughs> uh, it's Wednesday. Um, I hope everybody is having a good week. Um, it's been a little crazy around here. My husband got hurt at work and uh, like we spent several hours at the emergency room, you know, several hours. Okay, I'm going to let this glue, if you can see, I'll see if I can get it to shine. Come on, glue. Shine for me, shine like a diamond. There you go. Aha. So, I'm going to let that dry. I'll just lay it down. And I'm not leaving, not going anywhere. I'm just um, reaching over to the side here to see um, what I want to do. So, do I want to reinforce this with like a little strip of fabric or something? I don't know. My, my brain is telling me, yes, yes, do that. You need to do that. Do that. No. Um, and I, oh, sorry if you can hear the lawnmower outside. The city has decided to, to mow as soon as I decided to turn on the camera. There they are. Hello. Um, my brain is telling me it's not telling me much today but it's telling me to perhaps put a little bit of fat I don't even know why 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 would I even do that I don't know I'm just gonna do it because I am compelled the power of paper compels me and I am going to do that Okay, so like I said, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I hope you are all ready for summer or winter, as the case may be, depending on your specific hemisphere. And what am I doing? Well, I'm getting ready to go visit a friend of mine um, in the Pacific Northwest here in, what's today? in about three less than three weeks I'm gonna go visit her for for a little bit just a little bit and I've never been up there so I figured now's the time um, I don't know what kind of um, what kind of weather you guys up there in the Pacific Northwest have at the end of May let me know let me know you you natives you PNW natives, you. Um, anyway, sounds like it sounds like fun. 
I hear there's lots of things to see in the city. Um, I'm going to see at all for the most part, I believe. I don't know. We'll see. I've never been there, so we'll see where she drags me around to, right? I'm just going to put this fabric, and I know Hallie's probably going, um, you don't need that. I didn't have that in my video. I know, I know. I'm just, you know, you know, you know. So anyway, um, I'll be going up there uh, for a couple of days, a few days, whatever it is. And, um, but I'll still be in touch and I'll still be around because, you know, I have, I have access to the interwebs wherever I go, right? Except when I'm on a plane. And I will be on a plane. I'm going to let this kind of soak through. And I'm using the Weld Bond stuff that I used um, during the bookcase build. I yam, I yam. For some reason, that just doesn't want to stick. So guess what? Turning it over with the wet glue. So I am just making a complete and utter mess of this whole situation. Okay. So <laughs> this is what you call a bad ADHD day. <laughs> it's one of those days <laughs> where you just can't... Um, you can't grasp the thoughts as they fly by it's like little butterflies and you have like a net with you know mostly holes there's not much net left that's kind of how you feel on on a day where you can't grab your uh, grab your focus okay I'm not gonna run off and get a paper towel just not gonna do it but I am gonna trim this this now I'm going to set this down. I'm just going to, I'm going to walk away, man. I'm going to walk away. I just want it to um, settle. And glue against the spine of, or the straight edge of all these papers. Okay. Next order of business is, I have cut out some, just some chipboard that is just a tiny bit bigger than this, just a tiny bit bigger. And then I cut out another piece of chipboard that's the width of the spine. Um, and I haven't decided, I really like this paper and I like, this is Cavallini of some sort. Um, I don't know if this is an, yeah, that's enough paper. Heck yeah, man, heck yeah. So I'm just gonna use that squeeze out some more glue. I'll have to show you a thing I made for my daughter and son-in-law for their anniversary. Something you guys will be able to make for yourselves or somebody else. So I'll have to show you what I did. Kind of, I don't know, just kind of a neat little project that you might enjoy. So we'll have to, we'll have to do that. Um, it's, um, Something that I didn't know existed and uh, kind of glad it does. How's that for vague and ambiguous? I'm just going to put some glue on one side and I'm just going to pop that puppy about here because I want enough to be able to flip over, turn over. Now here's my little spine width thingy and I'm just going to paint some of this glue on the back side of this little piece of chipboard. I like such and so forth. Try not to make a complete and utter mess. I'm going to just eyeball me a little bit of a gap here. Because, you know, this is just it's a post-it note thing, right? And then I'm going to do the same on this one. Hopefully this won't be a complete and utter failure. If it is, we can just all laugh and go on with our day. Just go on with the day. So um, from what I'm told, and this was yesterday, so you know, this, things may have changed. There are three 
seats out of the 36 that were available left for the Scotland workshop. So if you're on the fence, just FYI, three seats as of yesterday. Um, so if that, if that helps you make your decision or not. Um, so that's kind of cool, right? That it's like, wow, we're, we got a, we got a full house. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna have so much fun. I have an idea of what I want to teach. I just gotta, um, finish up the curriculum and so that everybody can have a supply list and, you know, a game plan, right? You gotta have a game plan. So I'm just trimming around the edge here like this. And I'm gonna grab my scissors that have glue and um, fabric all over them. And I'm just gonna kinda cut some little corners off here just because there's too much paper. Why am I with the accents today? Like random, random accents. And that's probably pretty good here. I'm going to kind of go ahead and fold that in. This is pretty thin paper. Um, if you're going to use thick paper, um, be sure and fold it ahead of time. Train it a little bit because thicker paper tends to crack as it as you fold it. So if you get out your bone folder and give it a little, you know, give it a little fold, give it a little training. Fold that one over on that side, and then on do on this side. I don't know why I did the sides first. Probably should have done the top first. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Nick. Doesn't matter. I go obsessing over what side to fold over on, you know, a post-it note book for myself. Fold this one over. And now I will put some glue along the top here. This stuff is, this glue is like pretty wicked strong, so I don't need a ton. like that and fold this side down this is um, Italian like Florentine paper it was printed um, in Italy by the Tassati company and it's lovely Lovely, lovely. All right, so there is the outside of my little book, right? So you kind of, you, you want to finish off the inside, inside, the interior, and you know, however you want to finish that off. I would like to have one full, you know, thing here. Let me grab another one. It's right here. How's about this one? Does that look good? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold this over. I'm going to give this a little bit of a, a trim. a 
all the way through there. He had one job, craft knife. One job. There we go. Now, I'm going to turn that over. Let's see if this fits. Ish. I think I need to trim it a little shorter. That'll that'll probably that'll probably do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Name that movie. Do you guys remember that movie? My daughter loved that movie. I think we watched it every day for you know months. I got so sick of that movie. I could probably watch it again now. Maybe. I'm gonna center this. I just put glue in the middle. And I'm gonna center this and I'm gonna kinda let that sit down on that little spine area first and get that all creased in there. Like that. And then, and then, I will finish gluing this down. Of course, I use the biggest brush I can find. I have started filming a class. Um, I'm not going to say what it is yet. It's It's been requested for about oh, a year. And finally feel like I could probably probably do that. So, a little teaser there. A little teaser. You're welcome. You're like, oh, we hate you, Nick. I know. I know. It's cool. I hate me too. Okay, now I will this side. How cute is this going to be? Well, we'll see how cute it is. I'm running out of glue. Oh, my paper. My paper plate. Stuff is uber sticky, uber super sticky. There we go. And lay that side down. Looky there. Looky, looky. So cute, right? Boom. Book. Now. Will everything fit in here? Will it all fit? And I want the pieces to be able to tear off. So, I'm not gonna actually glue them into the spine. So I'm going to take a scrap of this cardstock. And I'm just going to make it the exact same size or height, I should say, the exact same height as my little notebook. And then I'm just gonna fold it up and over. it again. I'm just folding it around the spine to kind of get the to get the size right here. And I'm just going to cut this side off. So not even. And I even have a paper trimmer right here. Right, just right here, man. So that will get there. What I'm going to do is get more glue because, because we need more glue. And I'm going to paint the back side of this. 
and this will be the little kind of support of sorts for the paper, kind of like the back of a notebook, right? I don't want too much glue though. Kind of went a little hog wild there. Ooh, I don't have a paper towel handy either. And I'm just gonna set that down on that craft stock, card stock, and mold that around the back and the side. Again, Hallie's going, um, I didn't do that either. <laughs> I know, Hallie, I know, I know. If you find that um, your papers are pulling apart, um, what I might do, just for safety's sake, I might water down this glue just a little bit. I've got some water in a cup here. I'm gonna pull this back, pull that back, pull that back. And I'm gonna paint the back of that fabric with the watered down glue. And that way it'll hopefully soak in between the pages. Okay. We'll see. You could do this with a with a real stack of post-its and not go through the trouble of gluing them together. But what fun would that be? Okay, so that being that, now I'm going to glue the the cardstock to the back of this doohickey, this back cover. And I'm going to line it up with the edge of the back cover board that sits up against the spine. Just like that. Make sure it's fairly centered up and down there. And now you just need to let it dry. So I'm going to put um, probably a stack of something on top this so that it dries nice and solid many unbearable hours later okay so after everything got dry I did a couple of things so I thought I would show you I took some the only elastic I have is half inch so it's it's big but I took a little stretch of that and wrapped it around the book so I made sure I had enough and I stitched through the spine to anchor it and put a little bit of glue under there to anchor this and then in the front I overlapped it and stitched it together by attaching it with one of the dictionary card buttons. Video will be under the thing if you weren't here at that time. And then so on the inside you have your little post-it notes ready to go but it will stay secure with with the band. Um, yeah, so I think it worked, I think it worked out really well. I hope you guys like that. Um, I'm not going to use this as like a notebook. This is more like a post-it. You write something down, you rip it off, you know, and give it to somebody or whatever. Um, I'm not going to use it as a notebook. I'm going to use it like a post-it, like a pad of post-its. So that's what I'm going to use this for. And I thought this little glue binding technique for the edges of the pages was a perfect um, solution for making something of this sort. So just remember whatever size you decide to make your, your post-it pad um, to make your front and back cover just a little bit bigger, uh, eighth of an inch, quarter inch, just a little bit bigger on top and bottom and make your spine, your little strip of spine uh, chipboard same as your same width as your little pad and then just glue it together on some paper leave a little inky binky gap in between cover spine cover and 
like we did in the video and you too. You too make a post-it book. What I like about this as opposed to um, just a pad of post-its is that it's, it's kind of contained and I think it will stay protected more this way. I don't know. Anyway, just, just a little thought. All right. Well, thank you all for um, joining me today and uh, checking out this little tutorial of sorts. And I hope you can find it useful and maybe make some for, for your bag or your family and people who need to, you know, keep notes like I do. And um, prolific note takers. And uh, yeah, it was great hanging out with you guys today. I am in the middle of filming some some stuff, classes and some other things. And so I've been, you know, a little AWOL. So I apologize for that. But I'm busy working, I promise. And um, got a lot, a lot on the on the list, a lot on the docket that I'm trying to accomplish. So I appreciate your patience with that. But I'm going to be back really soon. I've got some stuff I want to show you anyway. So I, I will I will be back. I'll be back. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me today, and I will see you really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.